In this video, we're going to review the powers of 10. The number 10 is our base number, and the power is the superscript. So in this case, we're looking at 10 to the superscript 1, where 10 is the base number, and the 1 is the power number. We could look at, for example, the powers of 2. Let's say we wanted to look at 2 to the power 2. Well, the number 2 is our power, where the superscript number, in this case 2, is our power number. We will mostly be using powers of 10, so let's review these powers of 10. Let's say we wanted to look at 10 to the 0 power, or 10 to the 1 power, or 10 to the 2 power. What do these power numbers mean? What answer should you get? Well, think of the superscript number as the number of zeros that you should see in your answer. So we have 10 to the 0, we should see zero zeros in our answer, or the answer should be a 1. If you have 10 to the 1 power, then we should see one zero in our answer. In other words, our answer should be 10. If you see 10 to the 2 power, that means we should have 100 in our final answer, or two zeros. Notice the size is drastically increasing as we increase our power of 10. We go from 10 to the 0, which is 1, to 10 to the 1, which is 10, which is 10-fold or 10 times increase. From 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 2, we go 100 times larger. Now let's say we want to check our answers. How can we check 10 to the 0? Well, we can go to Google and search in Google for our Google Calculator. And here I looked on Google and I found, typed in Google Calculator and I found my Google Calculator. And now I want to check 10 to the 0 power. So what I do is I put in 10, then I hit this X to the Y key, and I put 0 in, and you'll see 10 to the 0. I hit equals, and sure enough, the answer is 1, just as we expected, an answer of 1. Let's say I want to check 10 to the 1 power. Once again, I go back to my Google Calculator. I hit all clear. I type in 10. And notice I hit the X to the Y key, and a little block will appear. I put in 10 to the 1. So it says 10 to the 1 power. I hit equal. And sure enough, my answer is 10. So I know the answer from 10 to the first power is 10. And similarly, you can do the same thing for 10 to the 2 power. So you go to the Google Calculator, you hit All Clear, you type in 10, X to the Y, get the block to appear, type in 2, which indicates I should have two zeros in my answer, and sure enough, 100 is my answer, containing two zeros. Now notice the exponents are either zero or positive numbers, in indicating an increase in size. What if I have negative numbers? How do I work negative powers? Let's say I wanted to check 10 to the power minus 1. Well, I can go to my Google Calculator, hit All Clear, type in 10, hit X to the Y, hit the minus key, and 1, and hit Answer, and I get an answer of 0 0.1. So let's put that answer in. Now let's go check 10 to the exponent minus 2. 10 to the minus 2, where the power is minus 2. Once again, go to the Google Calculator, hit All Clear, type in 10, hit X to the Y, the minus sign, and the 2, hit Enter, and I see 0 0.01 as my answer. Let's go put that answer in now. Notice you still see the same number of zeros. So here in the 10 to the minus 1, we see a 1, so we should see 1, 0. And there it is, the 0 in the 0 0.1. And in the case of 10 to the minus 2, we see a 2, so we should see two zeros in our answer. And sure enough, we have 0 0.01, indicating two zeros. But what about this negative sign? What is this telling us? You should think of a negative sign as a fraction or a division symbol. So you can think of the 10 to the minus 1 as that minus sign being a fraction or division, and you have 1, 0, 
So that would be 1 divided by 10, where 10 has 1, 0. Similarly, you have 10 to the minus 2, minus telling you divide by something. Particularly, you're having 10 with two zeros. So you're going to be a 1 divided by 1 with two zeros, or 100. Now notice our scaling. We have gone from 10 to the minus 2 to 10 to the minus 1 to 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 1 to 10 to the 2, or the size has drastically increased from 10 to the minus 2 to 10 to the 2 power. 10 to the minus 2 is small, 1 divided by 100. 10 to the minus 1 is 1 divided by 10, which is 10 times larger than 1 divided by 100. And 10 to the 0 is 1, which is 10 times larger than 1 divided by 10. 10 to the 1 is 10, which is 10 times larger than 1. And 10 to the 2 is 100, which is 10 times larger than 10. So our size is drastically increasing from negative numbers to positive numbers. And this is another relation you should remember when thinking of the powers of 10.